How's your memory going? Oh, it has its moments. <laughs> um, sometimes I wake up the next morning and I don't remember what I did the night before. Sometimes I think it's failing a bit. <laughs> and how's your memory? Um, pretty good. What was the first question I asked you? Oh. As you get older, do you find your memory starts to go? What was that? <laughs> But it's not always a laughing matter. Short-term memory loss can be an early sign of dementia. If you don't use it, you'll lose it. And that can be at any age. Jackie McLean from Alzheimer's Association Queensland says just as we exercise our bodies to stay healthy, we need to exercise our brains. Find something that you're passionately interested in and do it. Something as simple as mind games. It's aerobics for the brain. Trivia guru Rick Allport has been hosting live trivia shows at clubs around the southeast for the last decade. And which female is featured on the Australian One News? Now he's the brainchild behind the Brain Food Factory, a newsletter sent out by email each month full of crosswords and picture puzzles to keep you thinking. We have Sudoku puzzles, we have crosswords, we have word searches, we have trivia quizzes, we have visual things, we have a maze in there. And amazingly, it's free. You just sign up at www.brainfoodfactory.com. The Brain Food Factory is not a money-making exercise. I do this for the love, and I'm not saying it's a cure by any means, but it does help hold off any of those conditions. In fact, studies have found that by doing these kind of mind activities, you have almost a 50% better chance of not developing Alzheimer's or dementia. So Rick, how hard do they get? Look, they can vary in hardness. The one we had in last month, we had what we call crossword craziness, famous Australians. So as you can see here, we've got a long one starting with N, ending in E. The surname starts with a B. It's very long. I kind of think they'd put work out it's Natalie Bathingthwaite. Uh, if email or the internet isn't your thing, there are other ways to keep your mind stimulated, including quizzes and puzzles in newspapers and magazines, board games, learning new languages or instruments, and of course, trivia nights at local clubs. Ooh, you've got 16 up here. Oh, give a big round of applause, please. There we go. As for our forgetful Marion, after just six months of the Brain Food Factory, she's already seeing results. I'm getting better at remembering things now. I think I'm working on it harder because I'm aware that it's happening. Guess what? Found the key. Do quizzes, do puzzles, do any sort of thing that's going to just get that brain working a bit harder. You will keep a much better brain quality for your whole life. Looks like fun. I'm going to give it a go.